so uh, our our re research is entirely focused on the way the immune system is attacking the insulin producing cells and a recent breakthrough in the teddy study is that these autoantibodies which are directed against the insulin producing cells seem to appear when the child is one to three years of age and the major question we we have is then that we need to know why these antibodies appear what happened to a one-year-old and these antibodies develop and the second step is once these antibodies have developed then it may take between one year or ten years until the child developed diabetes. Well, a, a breakthrough in my own research, which you know, took place some more than 20 years ago, was that we could explain what the autoantibodies are directed against. So our laboratory discovered glutamic acid decarboxylase, or GAD, and antibodies against GAD was really the first autoantigen that was uh, discovered and that made it possible for us then to begin studies to predict diabetes. In two or three years we hope through the TEDDY study which is a study of 8,000 children followed from birth and in the TEDDY study we have now more than 400 children with antibodies but only 100 of them have yet developed diabetes. So we have 300 children with antibodies who will develop diabetes, but we don't know when. So the, the major question now is, why did they get the antibodies? So we are looking in blood samples, stool samples collected before the antibodies to find out if there was an infection that happened in these children that explains why the autoantibodies developed. The long-term goals in uh, our research is uh, twofold. So the, the first one is that we identify children with antibodies. And if you have two or more of these islet autoantibodies, we know that the person will develop diabetes, but we don't know when. So then the question is, is it possible then as a secondary prevention, uh, which means that we will treat the antibody positives to prevent them from developing diabetes. That's secondary prevention. And that is something we do in clinical trials, just to stop the process that we know will eventually lead to diabetes. Because if anywhere we can stop it, the person will not get the disease. So that's step one. Step two is to prevent autoantibodies. So we will wonder, you know, if there is a virus inducing the autoantibodies, we'll vaccinate against that virus, and that should prevent diabetes, autoimmune diabetes altogether. The driving force for, for me, of course, who have been working on this disease for so long is, is to find out why, the, uh, why children with genetic risk develop these autoantibodies and find out what the mechanisms are. I just want to know. You know. I'm not going to give up until we have the answer why these autoantibodies develop in children with genetic risk and really t you know, find an explanation for, for autoimmune diabetes. And if you can explain that, we are going to explain other autoimmune diseases as well, like narcolepsy after vaccination.